All right, prepare to be mind blown. Okay, maybe I oversold it a little bit. But if you're an accounting nerd like I am, if you work in QuickBooks Online every single day, you can certainly appreciate shortcuts or ways to working faster, getting to where you want to be faster. So let me show you what I got. All right. So what I've done is I built a shortcuts menu, a bookmarks menu in my Google Chrome. This is only a concept that works in Google Chrome. If you're using Firefox, Safari, Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, whatever, this is not going to work. Only Google Chrome browser works for this. And if you're not using Google Chrome already, you should anyway, because QuickBooks Online was built to work in Google Chrome. Anyway, so let me show you here. It's called QBO Shortcuts. When I click on that, it's going to give me access to every single function inside QuickBooks Online that you could have access to. Uh, and it's basically going to be a bookmark. So any anything I click on, for example, I click on sales receipt, that's going to load my sales receipt uh, immediately. Now I can click on the QBO shortcut, go to customers and sales, and let's say I also want to open up an invoice. So what I do is I hold the command key on the Mac or the control key in, um, in uh, Windows, click on that, and then basically automatically a new tab will be open with that transaction. That's amazing. So I'm going to go to QBO shortcuts, Let's go to reports, let's go to profit and loss, hold the command key or Mac or control key on a PC and watch that in the top. A new screen was open with the report. So really, really awesome stuff. Now some additional advantages to having that uh, QBO shortcut menu, it's I can access things that are not accessible or easily accessible through the normal menu system. For example, if I go into accountant and then go to reclassify transactions, if you're not logged in as an accountant if you're not uh, using quickbooks online accountant edition you won't have access to this tool the only way you can have access to this tool is if you know that shortcut so if you actually type the shortcut that's here on the screen in, on that url straight into your browser you should be able to get to this and this screen is amazing this whole concept should make it worth it just by having access to the reclassified transaction screen because you can go into any of the transactions that you have entered, select multiple transactions. You can uh, group them by uh, or filter by transaction type, by class or by vendor. And then once you select them here, you click on reclassify, select a different expense account, a different class, click on apply and all the transactions get reclassified in one shot. Thousands, hundreds of transactions, Reclassify it could save you tons of time. I'm going to do a different video, check the description, where I'm going to deep dive into this tool, all the things that this tool can and cannot do. But let's go over the shortcuts menu a little bit more because there's a lot of really cool uh, 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 functions there. So I'm going to go into Accountant and then go into one called Write-Off Invoices. That one's pretty cool too. Again, only accountants have access to it. You won't, but if you have any open invoices uh, that are overdue, you can literally come in here and write them off all in one shot. QBO Shortcuts Accountant. Let's go to this thing called Accountant Tools. Pretty cool as well. So what Accountant Tools allow you to do is allows you to change the defaulting of the reports if you want your default reports to use a different date range than the default one. It will do that. It will let you know uh, if the books are closed or not. You can click, click on close books and it will quickly take you to the screen where you can uh, close your books and password protect your books, that sort of thing. Uh, back into that menu, you can also see all your bank and credit card accounts, their reconciled balances and the current balances. And it lets you know which of these accounts have been reconciled, if they have been reconciled at all. So a great little place to check out all your accounts and the reconciliations. Now, other really neat things that you can do with this uh, menu is you can access things that take multiple clicks to get there. For example, to get into the search screen, I'm going to click on search so you can see it to get normally to get into the search screen, you actually would have to click on the magnifying glass and then all the way down here into this link that says advanced search. So it takes two steps. Now you can just click on QBO shortcuts and 
go to uh, other functions and go to search. The other really neat thing that you can do, and this is sort of my own signature move here, is you can go straight to an amount search. It's my favorite type of search. So when I go to QBO shortcuts and then I go straight to amount search, notice I put it at the very top because it's my favorite function. It's the biggest, most important shortcut. When I click on that, it goes straight to the search screen, but then it also changes this to line amount and to equals to do a, a actual numerical search. The most common way of searching is to put a dollar value right there and click on search. So normally when we're searching transactions, we know the dollar amount, we're just looking for it. That's really, really cool. And it's right there, it's right there, the very first one. Now let's go over a couple of these uh, options too. So on the reports, you got the audit log. You can click on that and that goes straight into the audit log. You can go to avoided, deleted transactions, really cool too. It's a version of the audit log pre-filled with your avoided, deleted transactions. Let's take a look at uh, setup and settings. You can go to this hidden menu, which is called hide unbuilt expenses. When I click on that, this is pretty cool. If I have any transactions with a little check mark that says billable, I could just, and I wanna get rid of all of them, I wanna clear them out because basically they're clogging up my own build expenses report. I can just pick a date and say, look, uh, up to December 15, 2019, I want any transaction older than that with a check mark that says billable that hasn't been invoiced at this point. Click on that and that in batch goes out and deletes all those check marks that say billable, so it no longer shows up in your on build transactions report. So that's pretty cool as well. Now I'm gonna show you a couple more things in here. In the QBO shortcuts, there's these functions called QBO Advanced Only. Now these only work if you're working with QBO Advanced, QuickBooks Online Advanced. So uh, just because you have, you have the shortcut there, I'm gonna click on that. Um, it, you won't have access to it. It'll actually give you an error. So those only work in advance. So you're not gonna be able to access things that you don't have access to based on your version of QuickBooks. Only things that you have access to uh, based on your version. The only ones that are uh, sort of accessible even though you don't have the accounting edition is these three, reclassify, write-off, and accounting tools. And I think access to just those is worth it. But there's a couple extra little perks here. Let me show you. Under banking, we can go into the bank register. Now bank register takes a couple of clicks to get there. So I just go straight into bank register and it opens up my register screen. All I have to do is switch the bank account or the credit card account that I want to browse. Just uh, pick one here, I'll pick this one. And then I'll go into that register where you can do all sorts of functions inside the register. See, generally speaking, to get to the register, I would have to click on accounting and then on chart of accounts and then go look for the bank account and click on view register. So that was three clicks. So this shortcut allows you to really save time uh, like that. So how do I load, how, how would you load that into your, um, into your Google Chrome? So let me show you what I do to export it. So I'm basically going to right click on it and click on bookmark manager. And then I'm gonna uh, click here, right click actually up here in the top I'm gonna click here and click on export bookmarks. And then that's gonna allow me to save it somewhere in my computer. So we're gonna call this one uh, Hector's, Hector's QBO bookmarks. Okay, so I'm just saving it into my computer uh, so I can show you how you will load that again. So I'm gonna click on save and there it is. So now I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna delete it. That way I don't have anything. Okay, your uh, Google Chrome will probably look like this. You open a Google Chrome and there's absolutely no uh, bookmarks. And in some cases, you have to right click and make sure you show the bookmarks bar to see if you have anything in there. So you right click, show the bookmarks bar, see right there it's hidden. But if I right click on it, actually I'm gonna click on the three little um, buttons there, go to bookmarks and then click on show bookmarks bar. Notice I have absolutely no bookmarks. And the way I load the bookmarks in there, it's I'm gonna go into bookmark manager and then I'm gonna click on the three little dots as here on the right hand side, click on import bookmarks, and then you're gonna click on that little file that you downloaded from me, and then you click on open, and that's gonna load them in there. So now I'm in my QuickBooks Online, and I have access to all the features. So it's really, really cool. I'm just gonna go through them real quick, just so you can see it, pause the video, and see all the functions that you have access to. Every single thing that QuickBooks Online has, has access to, it's there, plus those couple of extras uh, that I mentioned. Now, how do you get that from me? You buy it. <laughs> you have to go into my website. I'll put the link 
in the description below and it's going to be a $20 a year subscription. What? $20 subscription? Why would you buy that? Well, it's up to you. You can build that on your own. You can literally click on every single link and create the shortcuts on your own. As a matter of fact, let me show you how you do your own shortcuts. So for example, you don't want to pay the $20. You want to build it on your own. Very easy. You go to new and then you go to bill. Okay, there's my bill on the screen. Then what you do is you come in here and you click and drag that link down to the bookmarks bar and there it is. That's simple. But then once I click on bill, I'm gonna right click and go to edit. You may have some issues because the URL actually added the cluster number. So this is cluster 25. So you literally have to go in there and delete every single cluster number for this to work in multiple QuickBooks online files. So that's kind of the main issue uh, with that. But it, but you could do it on your own. I, I have no qualms with that. So what you get in exchange is every time there's a, a menu change uh, into it, QuickBooks, changes a menu, changes a URL, adds a new feature. I'm going to continuously be updating that and you will have access to all the updates that I'll do basically forever. So you pay the 20 bucks. Now um, you can click on the link right there in the description. It will charge your credit card and you will have access to all the updates. And then next year, if this thing continues, um, then you can pay the $20 again and continue to get updates uh, through the year. So we'll see what happens. You know, I've never really sold an annual subscription to a, to a shortcuts menu in Google Chrome. I have faith you will love it either way. Uh, now, the best thing probably worth mentioning is once you load that shortcuts menu there, you can actually customize it. So I can click on the drop down menu. I can click and drag any of these and put them inside any folder. I can change the order. I can actually even pull these out. So if I wanted to pull them out and put them here in the master uh, shortcuts bar, I can pull each of these out and make them sort of its own sort of file menu uh, style. So look at this. I'm literally clicking and dragging. I'll leave those in there and I'll put uh, the home screen here. So I can, I can change them and I can right click, click on edit and then just change the wording. So once it's loaded, you can make this all you want. I'm gonna rename this one to just uh, customers. I'm gonna rename this one to vendor. Right click, rename vendor. And I can just click on them as if it was a menu. So look at this, I click on this and I got all my transactions. I click on vendor and I have all my transactions. I can put them back into the main folder if I want to. So it's really totally customizable. Um, and you can uh, go into the bookmark manager and you can move them around. You can back it up yourself by going into the export bookmarks, delete it, import it again. Uh, there's a lot of possibilities and I've seen a lot of my colleagues customize this and make create really unique experiences for themselves and also for their customers. Again, within the theme of working faster, working better, getting to where you wanna be as quick as possible. So anyway, uh, Faith, you will love it and I'll see you on the next video.